Okay, now we're going to uh, get back to Jackie. Around 10 o'clock, Jackie gets ready for morning recess with the rest of the kids in her class. She takes off her face shield and puts it on her desk. Miss Phyllis dismisses each row and makes sure the kids stay at least six feet apart as they file outside to the playground. Jackie gets fresh air and plays games that keep her from touching the other kids as much as possible. At the end of recess, Miss Phyllis calls Jackie and the rest of the kids together and has them line up at least six feet away from each other. When everyone's ready, Miss Phyllis leads the class back inside the building. Now it's time to use the bathroom. When they reach the bathrooms, Jackie waits outside the door while a few kids at a time go inside. As kids finish up, they file back to the first and second grade classroom, take their seats, and put their face coverings back on. When it's Jackie's turn, she uses the bathroom, then washes her hands really well for 20 seconds, like Miss Phyllis showed her. She walks back to her desk and puts her face shield back on. Okay, time for an explanation. So the rules surrounding rhesus are not really in place yet. And I believe that fresh air and exercise are super, super important for kids. Uh, kids are built to move. I've learned that after teaching for quite some time. They're built to move, especially you know, younger kids, very much built to move. They need to get off that, get all that excess energy work off, worked off. They need to get fresh air. And so uh, these, these guidelines are, you know, are going get, to get updated. And I'm guessing in the future, there'll be some clarification about what exactly the whole face shield, face mask, face covering thing is going to mean for recess time, but for now it's left pretty wide open. And so I'm going to interpret that to mean that we uh, do not have to require students to wear face coverings or face masks, face shields um, <clears throat> during during recess time. So we'll do our best to keep kids you know, away from each other. And we're going to try to, we're, we're going to work on games that keep kids from touching each other as much as we, we can. And so on. So we're going to try to follow those those guidelines to the best of our ability, but we are planning as of now to allow kids to uh, to take their face shields, face coverings, whatever off um, for, for recess time. Um, I feel like that's a, that's that's a very reasonable uh, to, to do, but I, I'm not going to guarantee that because you know things may change. But that's definitely the, that's the way we're we're looking at it right now. Okay, let's get back to the story. Around 11:30, Miss Phyllis uh, says lunchtime. Jackie is relieved. She is really hungry. She clears her desk of everything, then uses a disinfectant wipe to wipe off her desk. As soon as she's done, she throws the wipe away and gets in line to wash her hands at the sink in the back of the classroom. After scrubbing up, Jackie gets the rest of her lunch from her backpack and heads to her desk. In the morning when she had arrived, Jackie had taken a leftover piece of pizza out of her lunch bag. Her mom had wrapped it up in tinfoil and written her name on it. Jackie had placed it on a tray on the counter. One of the staff members had taken the tray to the kitchen and warmed up all the hot lunches in the oven. Now the staff member knocks on the door. Who's ready for hot lunch? The kids cheer. Miss Phyllis hands out the hot food. Jackie takes off her face shield. Mm-mm, pizza. When lunch is over, Miss Phyllis brings around the trash can, trash can so all the kids can throw out their garbage. Jackie gets another disinfectant wipe and cleans her desk again. Miss Phyllis dismisses kids one at a time to put away their lunches and to line up to go to recess. They head back out to the playground some, for some more fresh air and exercise. After recess, they use the bathrooms again. When Jackie's finished, she heads to her desk and puts on her face shield. So time for an explanation. So we're going to eat lunch in the classrooms this year because our cafeteria is too small to accommodate a lot of kids at the same time. Now, PCA doesn't offer <clears throat> prepared lunches, so each kid is going to need to bring his or her own lunch from home. So we're trying really hard to offer lunch heating again this year. I, I, I really love to be able to do that, but we're just going <clears> to, <throat> we're going to take steps to be extra careful to make sure that everything is prop properly wrapped and, and properly handled uh, when we're you know, taking food to the kitchen to get it warmed up and then when we're bringing it back. Okay. Uh, in our next uh, video, we're going to be taking a look at what happens if Jackie gets sick at school. See you there.